U.S. cruiser the Pearl Mist stopped at the Perry Sound port on Tuesday morning as passengers disembarked for a long day of checking out the local sites. Kristen Lambert, who oversees operations of excursions, says Perry Sound is a very special port for their liner to visit because of the wide variety of outdoor activities available. The Thousand Islands, the Georgian Bay, the pier itself always has a great staff that is here every single time visiting with us. They have brochures and maps and ideas for our guests to be able to do a variety of things while we're here in port that are outside of the normal excursions that we even offer. Um, you know, in Perry Sound, we do try to have all of our excursions experience the beauty of the Thousand Islands. So unlike some of the other ports, all excursions that we run here in Perry Sound are outdoors. That way guests can enjoy the beauty of the fullest potential that it has here in the Georgian Bay area. Some of our excursions include kayaking through the Thousands Islands. Uh, the Island Queen Cruise is of course popular. We take guests on three hour tour options, two hour tour options. And then we also offer biking Georgian Bay. We take guests over to Kill Bear Park for a guided hike through the park. And then of course we offer a shuttle that runs continuously all day long to visit the number of stops and the bookshops and the stores so guests can enjoy some of the local artists and the craftsmen and uh, spend some of the money to support the local businesses. And speaking of supporting local businesses, a new project in Perry Sound is making that even easier as waterfront vendors have now opened up shop right on the pier, steps away from where the cruise ships port. This venture was started thanks to a partnership between two local business people and it started with a new coffee shop. I'm a realtor and the vision was to have an office that we could rent out space to people in a coffee shop with really great coffee. And we have the office and we rent out space, but there wasn't room for a coffee shop. So this came available and it's the perfect location. When the former operator at the, at the town dock building uh, retired, that gave us an opportunity to look at new and interesting things, one of which was uh, Shirley's coffee shop proposal, but we were also approached by quite a few other folks in that uh, 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 with with ideas for it. Literally, we were standing ready to go on the Island Queen. I had uh, rented it out as a client appreciation event and I saw George and I said, hey George, what's going on with the kiosk? And then that led to what else is going on? And he mentioned his idea about the pop-up shops and I said, please let me help. So then we thought there'd be enough of a marketplace to, to do this idea of the pop-up shops here and and uh, and so, and so far it's been great like we've had, had wonderful uh, response to them and the, and the people that are actually running them are also getting wonderful response from all the traffic down here and, and the cruise boats bring in people and the uh, um, and uh, and and the, of course uh, people come to see the people that are here and so activity breeds activity so it's it's really been a positive uh, change on the waterfront here for us and it certainly creates a lot of excitement and interest of of things to do. Uh, we've got some great waterfront restaurants down here currently and and more being built so so we didn't think that that was the way to go. It was more to get different unique products that people can display. And if you're interested in checking out what shops have to offer or grabbing a coffee at the Northern Perk and checking out the cruise ships, you'll have plenty of opportunity. Ships are scheduled to port in Perry Sound throughout the week with many more this month and into July and August as well. You can find a full schedule of cruise ships making port on the Town of Perry Sound website.